right, that was my intro music. Man, it's raining outside. I was about to be very creative. I guess the weather is not cooperating with me today, so I'm gonna shoot this whole vlog inside my apartment. Today, let's learn five tips to learn Nihongo easier and faster for beginners. Let's jump into it. Nihongo o benki suru ho wa taksen nari hito ni yotte koto narimas. Watashi no iken de wa kono itsutsu no pointo kara hajimeru koto ga dekiru to mon desu. Watashi wa anata ga nihon ni tsuite. Okay, enough for the intro. So, number five is learn hiragana and katakana first. This is the first thing you need to do. How can you start studying all of it if you cannot read it? Joe, I can study it in English characters. Do I really need to start with hiragana and katakana? Well, my answer is yes, a big yes, a strong yes. Why? This is why. Because you need to learn words and grammar that are written in Japanese. It is sensible to memorize the character prior to learning grammar and words. You cannot read explanations why this grammar is created or how to create this sentence if you cannot read it, right? So that's the first thing that I suggest learning. Actually, there are three Japanese characters, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. But you don't need to worry about kanji first. I have this weird um, relationship with kanji. It is so complicated, I may say, but at the same time, it's so challenging that you want to learn it. So I love it. At the same time, I hate it. And by the way, so much for my love story with Ganji. Let's go back to the main objective of this video. Number four is learn easy words first. Try to learn the words that you use in a daily conversation. Let's say, when you come to Japan, you will surely buy something in a convenience store and say, Ikura desu ka? Or you might need to answer the call of nature and ask Toiru wa dogo desu ka? That means, where's the toilet? You get it? Call of nature. The human being, say natural being. You get it. For me, it is better to load yourself with things that are easier to remember than those complicated words that you will just forget in a day or two. Since you're still a beginner, focus on the most common words first, not the complicated one. Easy, not complicated. Mm -hmm. Number three is use mnemonics. Mnemonics are memory devices that help you remember something. A mnemonic could be a picture, a word, or even a song. I make my own sound effects here. I will give you an example, okay? You in Hiragana character looks like this. You can imagine that character as someone being punched in the stomach. <coughs> then it is easier to remember. Or let me say you want to memorize a word, for example, a Japanese word like Jodan. Jodan means joke in Japanese. You can remember me, my name is Jo. Jo, the vlogger that makes corny jokes. Okay, Jo and jokes. It's connected now. And Dan, we need some mnemonics for Dan. But cornier than my father's joke. So, Jodan is joke in Japanese. <laughs> Enough for that. So basically, it is a technique to remember things easier. I deserve a subscription for that joke, right? Okay, let's go to number two. I'm so excited. This number two. Number two is think in Japanese. Practice your mind to think in Japanese. If you do not have someone yet to talk in Japanese, you can try talking to yourself. Well, don't do this in public. You can do this inside your home or while you're in the shower. So how to do this one? Even if you are still a beginner, you can try naming things inside your home or narrating your feelings in a use of Japanese. In that way, you can pull, squeeze, dig Japanese inside your head and try to use it. If you don't use it, then you will just forget it. I make my sound effects here. That's my drum roll. So number one. Number one is listen to Japanese materials. Listening is the key to effective communication. That also applies to learning Japanese. Listening is so important in language learning because it provides input for the learner. 
remember in the beginning I just told you five tips but this will be a bonus for you this is more of a motivational tip always remember your goal remember why you want to know Japanese maybe one of you guys wants to marry Japanese that's one reason maybe some of you just want to learn Japanese because you guys are tired of reading the caption every time you watch anime or is it simply you just love languages so always remember your goal I think your goal will fuel up your passion inside so that's it thank you so much guys I'm so glad that I shared my five tips on how to learn Nihongo faster and easier for beginners this vlog is made for people who are interested to come here in Japan I will make a video a comprehensive video on how to apply for a specific visa so if you're into it hit subscribe hit like if you enjoyed the video spread love and peace not COVID Goodbye. Come on, man. I just finished shooting the vlog and look at this. The sun just came up. We got it. We got it. We got it.